Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to talk about something that happened at the end of Ninjago episode 98. So yeah, as usual for all season 10 videos, this video will contain heavy spoilers for season 10. So I advise you to leave the video if you do not want to hear these spoilers. So yeah, anyways, as you guys do know, the golden weapons of Spinjitsu have been reforged as of season 10, and they were used to form the Tornado of Creation, which was used to defeat the Oni. We saw a really cool scene actually that has brought up a lot of debate at the end of, towards the end, not at the end, of episode 98 with the golden weapons after the tornado creation is performed and after the scene with Lloyd and his grandfather. We go back to the monastery and we see this one particular scene that has brought up a lot of debate of the golden weapons. And in this particular scene, we see them at first kind of glowing and then they start to lose their glow. Now, I want to point out something important. Of course, as you guys do know, the nunchucks of lightning are connected by this, by like lightning, a little lightning bolt. So that is a pretty key element. And in this shot, we do not see the nunchucks of lightning connected by this lightning bolt like we did before. Now, on top of that, you know, um, uh, at some point on the weapons, there is like a little dot that whenever the ninja are holding them, I think it turns that certain color. For instance, the uh, Sword of Fire has a little red dot. I don't know how to describe this, but I, hopefully you know what I mean. And yeah, that was not colored in this shot that we saw at the end of episode 97. But yeah, anyways, so this is after the Tornado of Creation has been performed. The monastery is kind of damaged. The ninja are all lying on the ground, and we see the scene with the golden weapons kind of glowing, and then they suddenly start to lose that glow. I think there are three possible explanations for this. The first of which is that after defeating the Oni and using the power of the Golden Weapons, in order to vanquish all these Oni, the Golden Weapons have permanently lost their power. And I think this would actually make a lot of sense. I mean, there has to be some cost to defeating the Oni, right? It can't just happen like that without there being any kind of consequence, right? I think this would make total sense and it would kind of balance it out because right now in the end of episode 98, the Oni just seem really weak or the Ninja just seem very overpowered and I would probably go with the first one. And I think it would definitely make sense if there was some kind of trade-off for just very easily defeating all of the Oni. Maybe the golden weapons are gone for good, or someone dies, which didn't happen, but you get what I'm saying. Now, I think this is definitely possible, and if they are, if the powers are gone, this would make the weapons pretty much useless. And from there, I think what could happen is, you know, the golden weapons still exist, but they're no longer powerful or of any significance. Now, the second choice that I have in mind is that they have indeed lost their power, but they will return by the next season or by maybe the 12th season or they will return at some point. And this was, this has been done in the show before. We saw this happen with Skyler's powers. She lost them in season four and they returned by the time season nine came around. So yeah, I mean, I think this would make total sense if the powers are gone and it would take a lot of time for the golden weapons to get their elemental powers back. And that would make a lot of sense as well. Now the third option is that nothing really happened and that the scene is kind of misleading and since the ninja aren't really holding the weapons anymore, that, you know, they just kind of lost their glow. Maybe the tornado of creation is the reason why the weapons are glowing, and they're just, they just look normal normally. I don't think that is correct, but, you know, I, who knows, honestly. I do think that this scene does hold some significance, or it is important in some way, and I don't see why the writers would include this if it was for nothing. It is just a very small scene, but I don't really see why they include it if it was for nothing. But yeah, these are the three options that I think would be for the, the, you know, what happens to the golden weapons. I would really love to see them. I personally would love to see them return by season 11. I don't think we had enough time with them in season 10, and I think it would make a lot of sense for them to return in season 11, and I think that would be the best move uh, from the writer's point of view. I think that would be the me best move to bring them back in season 11 or the next season and use them to fight whatever villain will be in season 11. But yeah, these are just my thoughts, so thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below, explaining what you think happened to the golden weapons, and how you would want them to be in season 11, or not be in season 11. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.